Hi, I'm Claire Tompkins, the Clutter Coach, and this is the Organize Your Life podcast. I am passionate about organizing because it makes my clients' lives so much easier, more relaxed, and with more time to spend the way they want to. In every podcast in the show, I'll lay out a simple organizing concept, and I'll tell you why it's important. I'll also include an action step at the end so you can start practicing right away. My specialty is chunking down this big topic so it's not overwhelming. That's the concept for this podcast, which is based on my first book, 52 Simple Ways to Get Organized. The book is available on my website and on Amazon. I work with clients in person in the Berkeley, California area and via email and Skype, so you don't have to be local to me. Visit the Hire tab on my website or email me at claire at cluttercoach.net. If you like the show, please rate it and review it. To do that, go to my website, cluttercoach.net, and scroll down for the show notes. Each show notes post has a link to leave a review in iTunes. I would so appreciate that. Okay, on to the podcast. Today's podcast is based on simple way number 34 in my book, and it's called Options Are Illusions. People have trouble with decision making, which has been my theme for the past few podcasts, tend to feel too comforted by the idea that they have lots of options. They feel so comforted that they depend upon those options. They put all their eggs in that option basket for safekeeping, for that dreadful day that they have to choose one. However, until you choose an option, you don't actually have it. It's still in the future. It's a false security. There's really no way to tell how real those options are or how viable they are when they remain unchosen. You can't even tell if you'd be happy with any of them. Options don't last forever. When you're comfortably sitting on your little pile of options, you may not realize that some of them are expiring. The time to take advantage of them is rapidly dwindling. Some others turn out to be in the control of other people or entities and can be taken away without your being aware of it. Still others have shifted so much due to changes in circumstances that they aren't worthwhile anymore. On the other side of the coin, making decisions does not mean you have lost those other options. Why? Because it's an illusion to think that you'll lose something when you only have the idea of it. Until you make a choice and take action, you are stuck where you are, with nothing but lovely possibilities. Think of it this way. Imagine that you're in a park you haven't visited before. You have a map that shows all the trails. You can stand there at the entrance, looking at the map, seeing in your mind's eye the beautiful landscape you could pass through. Or you can start walking and be delighted by what you discover most of which isn't even on the map anyway. Here's a funny thing about options. We believe that holding on to them, putting off making a final decision, will make us happier, because then we avoid making a terrible mistake. But psychologically, that simply isn't true. According to Harvard psychologist Dan Gilbert, who wrote a great book called Stumbling on Happiness, our brains adjust once we make a decision, and we embrace that decision and start believing it's the best one. We see its good points and appreciate them, and we don't look back. Now, I'm not sure that's always true, but for happy people, I'm sure it is. Another wacky thing about options is that they make our thinking less effective. They clutter up our minds with all the worries and the pros and the cons we're constantly weighing in the background. That means there's less mental energy to deal with the here and now and to be productive. It basically means we're living in an alternative future, or several alternative futures at once, and we don't have any psychic energy left to live in the present. As I said back in podcast 29, decision-making takes energy. Sifting your options relentlessly uses up that precious energy. Of course you want to have some options. If there are no options, that means decisions have already been made for you, and nobody wants that. The trick is to look at your options as decision-making tools. Options show you alternative choices, and each has its upsides and downsides. You evaluate those options based on many criteria, your personal preferences, money, time, availability, all that stuff. Options you don't like can give you helpful information about what you'd prefer instead, and thus help in your decision making. So, don't hoard your options. Use them to come to a thoughtful decision. Your action step is to pick a decision you've been putting off and get clear about why you haven't made it. Examine all the different options you have as tools to help you get to a decision. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Claire Tompkins, the Clutter Coach. If you like the show, I'd love it if you'd leave a rating and review in iTunes. You can subscribe, too, so the podcast will be ready and waiting for you to listen to. 
The show is available on SoundCloud and Stitcher as well. You'll find the show notes on my blog at www.cluttercoach.net. And you can check out my store to find books I've written and books and products I recommend, and some freebies too. I work with folks in their homes and offices to bust clutter and get them organized so they can stay that way easily. Get in touch and find out how I can help you. I'm in Berkeley, California, and you can reach me at claire at cluttercoach.net. Come back for more next week. Thank you.